work at a large safety net county hospital uh, that serves a medically indigent patient population in Dallas County, Texas. Oftentimes hundreds of people uh, will be rotating through the emergency room in a day and there'll be a wait list for beds. Out of the necessity, we created a program around self-care in 2009 where we decided that we would give patients who were underinsured or uninsured a choice and really an opportunity to participate in self-care and partner with them. So a patient that may be coming into the hospital and had a surgery that was complicated by infection, typically if you're underinsured or uninsured, you'd receive four to six weeks or more of antibiotics in the hospital. These types of patients were taught how to self-administer IV antibiotics at home by removing a picture off the wall and using the nail as an anchor. In many cases, turning a wire coat hanger upside down and using the bottom of that coat hanger hook as your IV pole and count the number of drops going in at a fixed interval. We went back and looked at our data after the first four years of running the program. What we found was that we were able to save the hospital almost 28,000 hospital bed days, which means that we could improve our resource utilization and use those beds for the more acutely ill. This translated into roughly $40 million of savings over the first four years. In fact, our patients who were performing self-care had a 47% lower 30-day readmission rate than patients who were receiving standard of care. And we really owe that success to the patients themselves. We have been able to tap into perhaps the most natural resource available, which is human potential.